Hello everybody, it's Brother Paul here, a long time no see. I have some wonderful news. I have a really good dream to share with you. Um, I guess I have a dream, an interpretation, and a message. So, I'd like to invite the Holy Spirit, Mighty God, into this one. So, let's pray. Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus. I ask you by the God of the Holy Spirit, bless every word I say, everything that I'm going to share. Bless those watching. Give them the guide of your Holy Spirit so that they may understand and discern this dream, so that they may understand it the way you gave it to me. I thank you for everything you do for us, Lord. And I ask for a wonderful blessing for all of those who are here in fellowship today. I say this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Alright guys. Um, I'll just get right into the dream and I'll do my message at the end. So I had a dream and it was actually this morning. So I woke up in the middle of the night. It was about 3.15. Uh, today, by the way, is September 4th, 2019. And... I had the dream and I had this overwhelming, uh, powerful feeling that I needed to teach people this dream. So I'm just going to get right into it. So I'm going to go right into what I wrote. Uh, people were trying to work out. I saw myself, I saw my brother Daniel, and there was a third man, no idea who they were. I believe we were younger versions of ourselves because I didn't have white hair and I was back in my old wrestling shape. I was in really good shape in this picture or in this scene. <clears throat> and uh, I saw, I guess I was looking at my brother and he asked me, how, how much do you weigh? And I answered in my dream, I weigh 280. Uh, the funny thing is I didn't look that heavy, but that's what I answered. So I continued. Uh, in the dream and we were I guess working out or whatever and it kind of jumped to the next scene and I knew that there was a race going on and I was heading toward an area where I knew there was going to be a race and while I was walking there I was noticing along this river that there was snow on the snow banks so I kind of looked at it and I continued walking into a direction and I saw a very, very, very large group of people all sitting on the ground and nobody was making a sound and everybody looked like they were concentrating. They were about to do something. So what else did I write here? Uh, they were waiting to get into the water and they were aware that this water was very cold and I looked up at this river and it was zigzagging up the mountain. Kind of like if anybody's ever hiked anywhere, the mountains tend to do this. But I was looking at the water going up that way. So what else did I write here? <clears throat> so it was, it was definitely a race. And uh, they were waiting to get into these boats. And in the, in the dream, I was seeing people sitting in kayaks and this is kind of cool because if you uh, i'm going to put a picture up of my very first time kayaking a couple of weeks ago in the, the alberta banff area so for me this was a new experience and i guess that's why god showed me uh, kayaks because for me it's a new thing so he shows me things in my dreams that i can relate to so anyway people were getting into these kayaks and i was watching people leaning over assisting them like people were helping them pull them along the water and yeah so I, I saw them being assisted along the way but I guess I was watching this I, I followed these people going up the river and then it got to a point where nobody was assisting them and it was no longer easy to get up the mountain and I saw a woman sitting in a kayak and she was kind of dragging herself literally one foot at a time and then she got to a point where she had to like get up to a higher level or the next level and she couldn't she was stuck there so um what did i write here nobody was there to help i saw a woman struggling to get up over an obstacle 
I wrote the, the river, like I mentioned, was zigzagging fashion all the way up. And all of a sudden, where the water stopped, it became a canopy. So I don't want you to visualize a canopy like one over a window or anything like that on a house. I want you to visualize uh, a hammock. Because it was in the shape of these very long, they looked like hammocks. So the boats became hammocks. And some of them were intact, and many of them had holes in them. So, again, I was observing, continuing to follow this pattern of what became canopies. And it was going upwards, and I saw many of them that were ripped. And suddenly it changed to another scene, and I saw a large group of people walking in a mall. And they were on the main floor, and I was on... Well, at least I think it was me. I was on the second floor and I ran into an engineer. Some man was just standing there and he was watching all these people trying to find different ways. And uh, what did I write here? And they were looking for any other way to get up the mountain. And this engineer, when he saw me, so I guess it was me, uh, he gave me directions. And this is how the dream ended. So I want to read all this. And then I'll put up scripture and then we'll talk about at the end of what all this meant. So the first one was a working out. It was a 1 Timothy 4, 8. For while the body, bodily exercise profiteth little, but godliness is profitable unto all things, having promise of the life that now is and of that which is to come. Now the second one was my brother Daniel. So when I looked this up, it was attached to Actually, two things, Brother Daniel and the 280, both, both equaled the same scripture, Daniel 5.12. For so much as an excellent spirit and knowledge and understanding, interpreting of dreams and showing of hard sentences and dissolving of doubts were found in the, name, in the same Daniel, whom the king named Belshazzar, sorry if I said that wrong, now let Daniel be called, and he will show the interpretation. So that was an interesting one. I'll get to that at the end. And next one was the word race, uh, which is a symbolic of a journey in your life. And it was attached to Ecclesiastes 9.11. I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor to the battle to be the strong, neither yet bread to the wise nor yet riches to the men of the understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill, but time and chance happeneth to, all, to them all. The next one was water, which was Isaiah 44.3. Uh, For I will pour water on him that is thirsty, and floods upon the dry ground, and I will pour my spirit onto thy seed, and my blessing upon th thine offspring. Going upwards was Isaiah 61. Arise, shine, for my light is gone, for thy light is gone, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. The next one I was looking for in the mall, and I was shocked to find one called just Mall. It was attached to Exodus 19:7. And Moses came and called for the elders and the people, and laid before their faces all the words which the Lord commanded him. Cold water was the next one attached to Matthew 10, 42. And whosoever shall give to drink unto one of these little ones a cup of cold water, only in the name of a disciple, verily I say unto you, he shall no wise lose his reward. The next one was, I was looking for snow banks, I found snow. And it was Jeremiah 18, 14. Does the snow of the Lebanon leave... Um, oh man, I can't even read, read my writing. Uh, I think it says crags. <laughs> I don't know what I wrote here. Leave the crags of Syrian. Do mountains waters run dry? The clode, close, cold flowing stream. Next one was Luke 5, 3. And he got into one of the ships which was a kayak uh, to me, which was Simon's. And he prayed him, and that he would thrust out the little 
from the land. And he sat down and he taught the people out of the ship. Next one was, uh, I was looking for assisted, but I found helping others, which was a Matthew 10, 8. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out the devils. Freely you have received, freely give. Uh, next one was getting lost. I was looking for next level, but I found getting lost or or actually being lost, which was a Hebrews 11, 6. Uh, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. The next one was canopy. Um, that was in Isaiah 4, 5. And the Lord will create upon every dwelling a place of Mount Zion, and upon her assemblies a cloud and a smoke by day, and by the shining of a flaming fire by night. For upon all the glory shall be a defense. And seeking another way was a Deuteronomy 4:29. But if from, the, from thence thou shalt seek the Lord, thy God, thou shalt find him. And if thou seek him with all thy heart and with all thy soul. And the final one was the engineer, which was a 2 Corinthians 4, 4. And whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ who is the image of God should shine onto them. Okay, so that's the end and the interpretation. Here's the message. Um, one of the reasons I stepped back, um, I had a lot I was working with through with God. And it's not going to sound very good what I'm going to say, but I'm going to say it anyway. Um, I made the mistake of starting to listen to other people I was asking for help from the interpreters and I think God got mad at me because in this ministry which he set up he taught me to interpret the dreams the way I just did it and he wants the viewers to do it that way because so many people used to ask for my email or my phone number and they would ask me how I interpreted dreams and this is the way God showed me to do it I write the words, I write all the scriptures, and when I read the whole thing, I grasp the message. This one was about trusting God, not man. So I have no problem with anybody that wants to share their interpretations. Go for it. It's awesome. He wants everybody to fellowship on here. I'm saying me. I'm going back to this way. Um, there's no way for me to explain to you the anointing I got today from this dream and the day I had with patience it was like I had one of the absolute most blessed days I've had in about four months it was wonderful 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 and through prayer all day today and Dennis was there for some of it it was incredible like this was an um, unbelievable anointing day so this message was very clear for me to say and I repeat again you pray on this you ask for discernment there are people that I've talked to, no names, doesn't matter. You need to trust God. And I had that problem too. So now, as of now, for going forward, I will only trust God in the way that I'm doing this. So from me, I love you guys. From Jesus, he loves you more. But you need to trust him, not man. Don't even trust me. Whatever I'm sharing, I'm just sharing the dreams he gives me. You pray on this. You take everything you see, especially on YouTube. There's a lot of quacks out there. Please take this to prayer. All right. Have a wonderful evening. I hope you receive this message. I hope that the Holy Spirit reveals to you this message. I had thought about giving my thoughts, but I won't. You need to pray on this, and you need to understand what this dream is saying. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.